Continuing our discussion, Nissan Maxima, of the, of the headlights. Question, what happens if my high beam flashes don't work? What can be the problem? Well, let's analyze first before we start troubleshooting. And this is a very complicated, sophisticated circuit, but it appears in many, many vehicles, the idea is the same. So if you understand this idea, you'll understand Toyotas, you will understand Chevys, you will understand Volkswagens, and you will understand other vehicles. Understand just the basic foundation and the concept, what has to happen. Now, from the fuse, we always begin. Current flows. Follow the orange line, and that's, that's important. Now, come over here. Off, first, and second. It seems like this is parking, and this is parking light, and this is uh, headlights. How do I know? Because we come over here, and it says headlights. So they must call it something else in the schematic. Anyway, regardless of what the terminology that they use, we have to have this. If you notice, the only position that the switch is connected to something is when... It's in it's second. If you notice, this is not connected to anything. And I labeled all of these contacts over here. A is not connected. B, which is first, is not connected. The only one that is connected is the second, connected to this. So therefore, and this one is, I made D, this one I made E, and this one I made F. Now, follow this. We put the switch from off to second, which is headlights. We go over here. Now, we have a choice. We could put either in low, either in high. Because you see, in low position, when it's in D, it's connected to a, 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 a wire. When it's in high, it's connected to something. In pass, not connected to anything. That means we cannot use this switch for pass or part of this switch. Other thing is, you see these dotted lines, and I made a statement over here. Dotted means switches together. That means they are all, these are all ganged together. In other words, it's like these are, when I move this one, I move this one. And then I move this one. And then I move this one. Simultaneously. I, it's like the Siamese twins. When one moves, the other one moves. That's why I call it Siamese twin switches. I numbered one, switch number one, switch number two, switch number three, and switch number four. And you'll see later on why I had to do that. So let's go first low, low, uh, 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 low beam. We follow the path here, here. Remember, this is double filaments. Over here, we have a complete path. So this will light, and this the rest of it will go to... Daytime running light, control unit. Now, what about the other one? That's for the left side. What about for the other side? Well, look at this over here. Follow, go, current flowing here. Current flowing here. Remember, we have to be in second. Second is headlights. We have to be over here, and we have to be in low. Okay, for this switch also. So only one makes contact here, here, here here to ground so this will take care of the right low beam this will take care of the left low beam this from this fuse will take care of the right low beam now what happens if we want to put it in high high beam we want okay flip the switch we went from here to here D, E, now it's an E. I named it E. So, we can still come here, come down, go, we have to be in second, headlamps, and now the switch is in here in high. We go down here, the other filament will light, which is high beam for the left side. Okay, now, how do we get the other one? That's the question. We did the left side. What about the right side, the high beam? Well, Let's look for the, for the current to flow. Where is there a path? If we go this way, if we continue this way, come here, here. Let's say this, is, this, is, this goes to high. 
No, it brings us around the same place. That's not that's not the connection then to high. We did this one so far, high beam, right? This will not bring us anywhere. How about this way? We said, okay, let's start this way. We said before this will is for low. How about for high? This switch is now here. Guess what? Come over here. High. Follow this. This is now in this position. It's in the high, going from here to here. So, and there is a connection. High goes here. The orange became green now for high. I don't know if you noticed that. High, high, high beam indicated with light that you have high beam on. But look at this. It's not going to this side. It's not going to the right headlamp. That's where it's going. Oh, wow. It's going to daytime light control unit. And then from there, follow it, that will light the right headlight. So, how difficult is that? In other words, this will help us for the left side, high beam. But for the right side, there is no connection from here to here. The only connection that we have is, guess what? From here to here. The only connection that we have from the switch is to tell us the high beam indicator is on. And then it has to communicate to this module, and then it'll turn this on. And by the way, daytime running lights, hint. That means it turns on the lights also, daytime running lights, high beam also. Right? Difficult, right? So, and the next video we're going to do is going to be to pass the flashers. Continuing the question, my high beam flashes don't work. Tune in for the next video. Thank you.